Good morning, North Dakota. Welcome back to another week of DIE reading. I hope you had an amazing weekend. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. Um, we will be doing lesson five today, okay? So, um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Now, on the screen, I have a couple of sentences that you are that you may find in your book, okay? We learned a new sentence last week. Here is the new vocabulary sentence. I need everyone to look at the screen and look at where I'm pointing. Listen big. You measure your weight in pounds. Everybody say the sentence. Get ready. Yes, you measure your weight in pounds. Now, what word from this sentence tells what you do to find out how heavy or how long something is? Get ready. Yes, measure. And what word tells how many pounds something is? Get ready. Yes, weight. Now, what unit do you use to measure weight? Get ready. Yes, pounds. Okay, now let's say the sentence one more time together. Get ready. You measure your weight in pounds. Awesome. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and turn to lesson five in the textbook. If you have a copy of, a copy of uh, this lesson, that's great. If you don't, make sure you stay with me on the screen. If you're looking at it on another device, that's awesome. Make sure you're tracking on that device, okay? So this is lesson five. Lesson five is page 26. If for any reason you need more time to look for this lesson, wherever you are accessing it, go ahead and click pause and then click play once you're ready to start the lesson. Okay, everybody touch column one, column one. Okay, so word one is hoof. What word? Yes, hoof, spell hoof, get ready. Word two is hooves. What word? Yes, hooves. Spell hooves. Get ready. Hooves are the kind of feet that deer and horses and cows have. Hoof tells about one foot. Hooves tells about more than one foot. Who can name another animal that has hooves? Name any if you can think of any. Get ready. Yes, I could think of goat or a sheep. Okay, word three is true. What word? Yes, true. Spell true, get ready. Word four is sure. What word? Yes, sure. Spell sure. Get ready. Word five is fence. What word? Yes, fence. Spell fence. Get ready. Word six is agree. What word? Yes, agree. Let's read those words again the fast way. Word one, what word? Yes, hoof. Two, what word? Yes, hooves. Three, what word? Yes, true. Four, what word? Yes, sure. Five, what word? Yes, fence. Six, what word? Yes, agree. Find column two. Part of each word is underlined. You'll read that part. Then you'll read the whole word. Word one, 
What is the underlined part? Get ready. Yes, C. What is the whole word? Get ready. Yes, seasons. Word two. What's the underlined part? Get ready. Yes, camp. What's the whole word? Get ready. Yes, camper. Word three. What's the underlined part? Get ready. Yes, mat. What is the whole word? Get ready. Yes, matter. Word four. What's the underlined part? Get ready. Yes, glow. What's the whole word? Get ready. Yes, glowing. Word five. What is the underlined part? Get ready. Yes, grow. What's the whole word? Get ready. Yes, growing. All right, let's read those words again the fast way. Word one. What word? Yes, seasons. Two. What word? Yes, camper. Three. What word? Yes, matter. Four. What word? Yes, glowing. Five. What word? Yes, growing. Let's go to column three. All these words have an ending. Word one. What word? Yes, millions. Two. What word? Yes, greatest. Three. What word? Yes, blowing. Four. What word? Yes, knocked. Five. What word? Yes, meaner. Let's go to column four. Number one, you're reading loud and proud, okay? What word? Yes, terrible. Two, what word? Yes, cheering. Three, what word? Yes, curly. Four, what word? Yes, campfire. Five, what word? Yes, alive. Column five, number one. What word? Yes, animals. Two, what word? Yes, destroy. Three, what word? Yes, another. Four, what word? Yes, danger. Everybody find part B. In today's story, the trees are afraid of a forest fire. First, we are going to read the information passage. It's going to give some facts about forest fires. It's very important that you follow along and that you track with me. Everybody, let's go ahead and touch the title together. On my signal, we're going to start reading. Okay? All right. Get ready. Forest fires. Everyone say it with me. Get ready. Forest fires. On my signal, we start. Get ready. A forest is a place with lots of tall trees that are close together. The inside of a forest is very dark. Sometimes a forest burns. That's called a forest fire. Stop right there. Everybody, keep your finger on the word fire while I ask questions. What do we call a place where there are lots of tall trees close together? Think big. Get ready. Yes, a forest. Sometimes something bad happens to forests. Everybody, what's that? 
Get ready. Yes, a forest fire. Next line on my signal, we read together. Get ready. Here are facts about forest fires. The danger of a forest fire is not very great in the winter or spring. Now, stop right there. I'm going to go back to this line. I want everyone to read that with me. That line that I'm pointing to. Get ready. The danger of a forest fire is greatest in the fall. Stop right there. Listen, if the danger is greatest in the fall, in which season would there be most forest fires? Get ready. Yes, in the fall. Okay, from that line, let's go to the next one. Let's start reading together. Get ready. The danger of a forest fire is not very great in the winter or spring. In these seasons, things are wet and trees do not have dry leaves. The danger of a forest fire is not very great in the summer because the leaves on the trees are alive. So they are not dry. Stop right there. Everybody in the winter, is the ground usually wet or dry? Get ready. Yes, wet. So are there lots of dry leaves on the ground? Get ready. No, there isn't. In the summer, are the leaves on the trees alive or dead? Get ready. Yes, alive. Keep tracking and keep reading with me. Get ready. In the fall, the leaves die and become dry. Many dry leaves are on the ground in the fall. So if a small fire starts, it may grow larger as it moves through the dry leaves on the ground. Soon, that fire may leap up into the trees and become a terrible forest fire. Stop right there. In the summer, everybody, are the leaves dead or alive? Get ready. Right, they are alive. Are they wet or dry? Get ready. Yes, they are wet. In the fall, are the leaves dead or alive? Get ready. Yes, they are dead in the fall. Are they wet or dry? Get ready. Yes, they are dry. There are also dry twigs and branches on the ground that burn easily. Keep tracking and reading. Get ready. Forest fires kill wild animals and trees. Large forest fires may burn for weeks. They may destroy millions of trees. And it may take more than 200 years for the forest to grow back. Stop right there. Forest fires kill trees. Everybody, what else do they kill? Get ready. Yes, animals. Sometimes animals can't escape from the forest in time and they die in the fire. Everybody, about how long could it take for a forest to grow back? Get ready. Yes, 200 years. That's a long time. Okay. Now, I want everybody to take out a piece of paper. Write your name at the top of the paper. Number your paper from 1 through 15. Now, remember to skip every other line. When you are done, put your pencils down. Okay? Now, you're going to find part C but you are not going to answer the questions one through eight here, okay? First, we're going to read the story for part B, then 
when you finish reading the story for part D, you will go back and do number one through eight on page 28 and continue from nine through 15 on page 31. So all you're doing right now is you're gonna click pause and number one through 15, skipping lines. Don't forget your name and the lesson number. When you're done and numbering only, not answering, only numbering, click play. Go. Okay, now that you click play, you're ready to read part D. Okay, so, or part D. We're going to read the story together, and I'm going to be asking you questions. Okay, so listen big. Campers come into the forest. Say the title with me. Get ready. Campers come into the forest. Get ready. Tina, let me see. Stop right there. Let me see if I can zoom it in. There you go. All right. Get ready. Tina was very sad all summer and all fall. Stop right there. Everybody keep your finger on the word fall. Why was she sad during these seasons? Get ready. Yes, because the big trees were mean to her. The big trees blocked the sun. They dropped things on her. Keep tracking. Get ready. The only thing the big trees let Tina do was sleep when winter came. They went to sleep too. But in the spring, when Tina woke up and tried to make little green leaves, the big trees started dropping things and making jokes. Stop right there, boys and girls. Everybody, what was the only season that the big trees didn't bother Tina? Get ready. Yes, winter. Why didn't they bother her during the winter? Get ready. Right, because they were sleeping. Keep tracking. That apple tree doesn't like it when we do this. They would say and then drop something on her. Things were bad all spring and all summer. On one fall day, the trees were meaner than ever. Tina had made lots of big red apples. The big trees were trying to drop branches on her and knock off her apples. Stop right there. The big trees bothered her in the spring and summer. What mean things did they do? Get ready. Right, dropped things on her, blocked her sunlight. Everybody, what time of year was it when they tried to drop branches to knock off her apples? Get ready. Yes, the fall. What a mean game. Let's keep reading. Okay. Get ready. They would say, she doesn't like it when we do this and they would drop a branch. If the branch knocked off an apple, the big trees would cheer. This game went on until the big trees had no more branches they could let go of. Poor Tina had only three apples left. Stop right there. How did the big trees knock off the apples? Get ready. Yes, they dropped branches. Everybody, every time the big trees knocked off an apple, what would they do? Get ready. Yes, they would cheer. How many apples did Tina end up with? Get ready. Yes, three. Why didn't the big trees keep on playing this game until Tina had no apples at all? Get ready. Right, they had no more branches they could let go of. Let's keep tracking and reading. Get ready. 
Just then, three campers came into the forest. They made a fire. The big trees got scared. One big tree said, What is the matter with those campers? Don't they know they should not make fires in the fall? Another big tree said, Yes, things are dry and we hate forest fires. After a while, the campers put dirt on the fire and started to leave. They didn't see that part of the fire was still glowing. Everybody who made the fire, get ready. Yes, campers, when they left, was the fire out? Get ready. No, it wasn't. What was the fire doing? Get ready. Yes, it was glowing. It was still burning. What was the danger if that fire started up? Get ready. Right, it would start a forest fire. One tree said that things were dry in the forest. That means the forest would burn easily. Turn the page. Let's finish the story. Get ready. Oh no, one of the trees said as the campers were leaving, that fire will start up as soon as the wind blows. Another tree said, and it will make a forest fire and we will burn up more next time. Everybody, what could make the fire start up? Get ready. Yes, wind. What would the fire turn into? Get ready. Yes, a forest fire. What would happen to all the forest trees? Get ready. Yes, they would burn up. Now look at the picture. The trees are talking. What is the first tree saying? Get ready. Yes, that fire is glowing. What is the second tree saying? Get ready. Yes, it will make a forest fire. You can see Tina. There is a lot of stuff on the ground around her. Why are there so many branches on the ground? Get ready. Right, because it's all the branches that those mean trees drop on her. Okay, now how many apples does she still have? Get ready. Yes, three. She still has three apples. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and do independent work. You have 15 questions to answer, okay? You can see, you can find these questions on Teams under files, the second grade reading online book, okay? Now, um, I already made the video where I showed you how to access the book. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Questions 1 through 8 are on page 28. And the rest of the questions are on page 31. Don't forget to post or send me a picture of your work. Okay, boys and girls, well, thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Bye.